Hey, it's Mr. E here. Our aim is how do we solve problems that involve binomial probability that use the words at most and at least. So here's a warm-up question. You should be able to do this by now on your own. If you are having difficulty with this, I do recommend that you watch entirely the previous video, but this is something you should be able to do on your own by now. So try it out. Gordon tosses a fair die three times. What is the probability that he will toss exactly two fives round to the nearest tenth? So we have our three slots. And we want to know what's the probability that he will roll exactly two fives. One way that could happen is if he rolls a five, rolls a five, not rolls a five. Probability of rolling a five is one out of six. Probability of not rolling a five is five out of six. We have to take into account the fact that order does not matter in which we roll these fives. So we have to multiply by a combination. We're going to go ahead and multiply these numbers out. And let's just go ahead and rewrite that as 3C2 times 1 over 6 squared times 5 over 6. And when we multiply that out, we get approximately 0 0.06944. Rounded to the nearest tenth, we get 0 0.1. Okay, so if you just wanted to use the formula, that's the formula. N stands for the number of trials. R is the number of specific events you wish to obtain. P is the probability that the event will occur. And Q is the probability that the event will not occur. So if you just wanted to use the formula for the warm-up, N would be 3. R would be 2. P would be 1 out of 6 and Q would be 5 out of 6. Example 1. Gordon tosses a fair die three times. What is the probability that he will toss at least two fives round to the nearest tenth? So now we're getting into our aim for the day. How do you solve probability problems that involve the, the words at least? So, when it says at least two fives, at least two fives in three tries means we need to find probabilities that R could be two or three. So, we're going to be using the formula two times when R equals two and when R equals three. So let's make some space for that here. Let me explain a little bit more why you're using it twice. Because at least two fives means at a minimum two fives. So at a minimum two fives and then all the way up to the maximum. That would be rolling three fives. So now, here's our formula. We already did it for when r equals 2. And we got that number. Now we just have to do it for when r equals 3. And it would look like this. You could put all that in the calculator and get that number. But if you just think about it, if you're trying to roll 3 fives, that's just 1 out of 6 times 1 out of 6 times 1 out of 6. It's really just 1 out of 6 to the third power. It's the same as what you have here because 3C3 is 1. And 5 over 6 to the 0 is also 1. So it's just 1 out of 6 to the third. But, you know, you could just use the formula if, if you feel more comfortable that way. Okay, now, we did the formula two times. 
or we use the formula two times rather, the total probability is the sum of the above probabilities. So you have to add what you got here and what you got here to get the total probabilities. And when you do that, you get this. Finally, just round it to the nearest tenth and you get 0.1. Example two, Gordon tosses a fair die three times. What is the probability that he will toss at most two fives round to the nearest tenth? So at most two fives means we need to find probabilities that R could be one or two. So we're going to be doing the formula two times again. For when R equals two, which we already did and for when r equals 1. So here is when r equals 2, when r equals 1, this is what it should look like when you substitute into the formula. Here's the formula in case you want to see it. And let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator. That's going to be 3 C1, which is 3, times 1 to the 6, raised to the 1, times 5 over 6, squared, and we get 0 0.34722. So, like I said earlier, the total probability is the sum of the above probabilities. So we get 0.41666 rounded to the nearest tenth. 0.4 is your answer. So here's a little quick summary. When computing at least and at most probabilities, it is necessary to consider in addition to the given probability. So when it says at least, all probabilities larger than the given probability. So that's why, for example, one, we considered the given probability, so that was two, and then we have to consider all probabilities larger than the given probability. And that was when r equals 3. When it says at most, you have to consider the given probability and all probabilities smaller than the given probability. So in example 2, we had to consider when r equals 2. And then we had to consider all the probabilities less than that. And that was when r equals 1. Okay, now you try it. Here's an example. Try it out. Now look, be patient. List everything out. Make sure you're substituting into the formula the right way. Be patient with this. These problems do take time. I don't expect you to work these problems out in five seconds. Okay, math is not about doing it quick. It's, it's about doing what works for you and the process so don't be don't try to rush through it take your time with this problem and post your answer on the comment section I hope this video helps take care